Welcome to the anchor chain calculator. In order for the anchor to hold well, the load exerted by wind and swell needs to be as small as possible. In a strong gust, the anchor load can increase dramatically. In order to keep the anchor load low, it is therefore mandatory to be able to temporarily store the energy transferred by a strong gust or swell. Part of the energy can be stored in the anchor chain. The higher the chain rises above the seabed, the more energy will be stored. In physics, this is called potential energy. Another way to temporarily store energy is to deploy snappers or, in the case of multi-hulls, the use of bridles. In order for the snapper to work well, it needs to be very elastic and stretched by a meter or two if needed. Let us first consider the case where we anchor in shallow water, in very shallow water, and only chain is deployed but no snapper or bridle. The anchor load is very high and still there is a good part of the chain lying unused on the seabed. Hence, simply paying out more chain won't help a bit. If we now add a very elastic snapper, the anchor load gets halved. In deep water, chain is working much better. Again, first without snapper and then with snapper. The difference in anchor load is now much smaller. Compared to anchoring in shallow water, the anchor chain is now much higher above the seabed and can therefore store much more energy. In this diagram, we have plotted the boat's distance from the anchor. The upper curve is an example when anchoring in shallow water, whilst the lower curve is for anchoring in deeper water. The energy transferred from the gust to the boat is depicted as a pink square. Although I have paid out much more chain in the shallow anchorage, the anchor load is much higher here, as indicated by the red dot. In a car crash, the situation is quite similar. A shorter crumble zone leads to higher forces acting on the passenger. Vessels respond differently to the dynamic loads caused by strong gusts or swell. For a vessel twice as heavy but still having the same wind load, the effect of a strong gust is much reduced. A mix of chain and rope is ideal for absorbing dynamic loads caused by strong gusts or swell. The same is of course true when the chain is only a short precursor a few meters long. In deeper water one has to make sure though that the chain is not pulling with a too large angle at the anchor shaft. It may be required to pay out more anchor rope. A very elastic snapper or bridle has a much better characteristic for absorbing strong dynamic loads such as those caused by severe gusts or swelling. Having a good understanding of these effects is important for safe anchoring. If you want to explore this matter further, and in particular, if you want to apply it to your own vessel, I recommend using my anchor chain calculator. Available in Apple Store as well as Google Play Store.